Welcome to our ongoing series on the problems of evolution. Today we're going to look at the problem of thermodynamics. Now, the law of thermodynamics has got two elements to it, the first law and the second law. And uh, this, this is an actual law. This isn't uh, you know, a theory like the theory of evolution. This is an actual law that's been tested and specified and stated and proved. And uh, in fact, actually, uh, the first law has been called the most powerful and most fundamental generalization about the universe that scientists have ever been able to make. And it actually states that any given system, neither, uh, neither matter nor energy, can be self-created or destroyed. One form of energy can be converted into another. Matter can be converted into energy and energy into matter. But the sum total must remain the same. No new energy or matter is coming into being. Yeah, and, and neither is it being annihilated. So that rules out the, the idea that the formation of the, the natural world that we see began spontaneously by natural processes. And the second law uh, states that over time, any closed physical system becomes less ordered and more random. So in other words, entropy increases. And that basically, in, in simple terms, that's like a clock been, uh, that's been wound up and now is, is slowly running down and becoming more and more disorganized as its energy becomes randomized and that completely contradicts biological evolution which claims that uh, chaotic and random changes have led to greater order and greater complexity the second law tells us that there's uh, a tendency towards disintegration and, and, and decay and death that's the direction that things are going and what we observe with the second law in fact uh, Sir Arthur uh, Edlington, uh, Sir Arthur Eddington said this, if your theory is found to be against the second law of thermodynamics, I can give you no hope. There is nothing for it but to collapse in deepest humiliation. Now, before I get a, a stream of uh, comments in the thread telling me that the earth is not a closed system because it really receives energy from the sun, can I just point out that that is a false argument? Because no amount of random energy, uh, like from the sun, can create order unless the energy is harnessed by some pre-existing metabolic machinery. In other words, only life can produce life. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but through me. He is the life. And he created all life. And all life holds together by his power come to him and find life and find eternal life